uncertainty, fear, distrust in public health experts, rejection of effective health measures, violent aggression towards neighbors in our own communities. Whether right next door or across the globe, people are stressed and concerned about the COVID-19 pandemic. Some people we know are skeptical and dismissive about the coronavirus, while others are completely fatalistic. We're bombarded with information from family, friends, social media feeds from distant relatives, breaking news articles, and TV talking heads. We're all just looking for answers about how to navigate the world around us during the COVID-19 pandemic. And we all just want to know how to protect ourselves and our loved ones from infection. But in the process of seeking reliable guidance, we're filtering through so much information. Some of it is true, and some of it is outrageously false. Some of it is a bit outdated. A lot of the time, it's a combination. At WHO, we refer to this as an infodemic. And one thing we've learned from the COVID-19 infodemic is clear. Both innocent circulation of misinformation and malicious disinformation campaigns have triggered people across the globe to take actions that put them at higher risk of spreading coronavirus and make them more vulnerable to harming their health. Infodemics spread rapidly online and offline across borders and influence the way we behave and the health choices we make. And those choices have real-life impact on our own health and well-being, as well as the health and well-being of others, the well-being of our health systems, our economies, and ultimately, the resilience of society. The countries that have best mitigated the public health and socioeconomic impact of the COVID-19 infodemic have been countries that mounted an inclusive, whole-of-society approach, emphasizing unity, equity, and solidarity. In our first conference, we brought together over 1,600 participants to establish a global infodemic management framework and 50 key actions. At our second conference, more than 150 experts from over 15 different scientific disciplines established a public health research agenda to identify the most effective, evidence-based measures for combating an infodemic. The third conference convened stakeholders from all sectors of society to share lessons learned as well as identify the challenges and solutions that we, as a whole of society, are committed to addressing. It focused on six key stakeholder groups that have made an immediate impact on infodemics. The science and research community, journalists and media organizations, ministries of health and public health institutions, technology companies and social media platforms, UN agencies and multilaterals, NGOs and civil society groups. The infodemic response is not about a top-down communications approach or a glossy report. It's about building partnerships and evidence-based solutions. It's about delivering the tools and capacity in communities to blunt the impact of misinformation. It's about increasing access to information, supporting journalists to cover the subject with expertise and with safety and professional freedom, improving media and information literacy that can empower individuals and communities to be more resilient and resistant to misinformation. Today is a stake in the ground. It's about youth activists, community leaders, scientists, journalists, policymakers, tech companies, NGOs and health authorities declaring their commitment to manage and mitigate infodemics to support equitable health and well-being for all.